Wait, it says here the first super large indoor amusement theme park in China? Alright guys, so I just got done packing. We're gonna go on an exploration today. I hope you guys have been well. If you're new around here, my name is Steve, and we go on epic adventures every single week. Now I've been here in for about a week straight, haven't really explored yet because I've just been so busy editing and getting the videos out for you guys. Um, if you have not seen the previous videos, I highly recommend you go check them out. This series has been lit, and I think you guys will love them. But I'm very happy today because we're gonna go for an exploration to this abandoned indoor theme park that's themed for Indiana Jones. Now I was gonna explore this place by myself but we're gonna meet a friend later on for lunch and she's gonna come along with us. But before we move on, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and if you wish to support the channel, definitely head over to the Patreon page. All right, enjoy. All right, everyone, so we just got done with lunch and now we're taking a taxi ride to the place. Guess what, it's 45 minutes away and it'll probably only cost like 20 US dollars. It's super, super cheap here in China and I love it. But yeah, it's gonna be a long ride. I'll introduce you to my friend later. And apparently it's somewhere in here. I say bye bye in Chinese. Bye bye. Really? It's just yeah. bye bye. Yeah. We'll all right, cool. It. I've been saying that all the time. All right, this is such a weird location, guys. We're trying to find the way in, but all we're seeing is like active malls that look abandoned. This might be a dead mall. Yo, what? This is crazy. This is actually a half abandoned, half active mall. It's just really. Dead. Well, what is that? Hey, YouTube, what's up? It's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's so cool. You have to find a way down there. That looks insane. I'm surprised, like, there's not a lot of people here. This is, this is actually really cool for people to come and see. There's, there was like only one dude I saw just like going around. Just found the entrance. It looks like they blocked this off, but hey, we can we can get in. We're like stepping on piano keys right now. It would have been cool if like they actually made noise as you're walking down. Oh. He said it's been closed for like six years, six years ago. Okay. But Makes sense. It's not gonna open. <laughs> it's not been open for that long. It's not gonna open at all, maybe. Really? Yeah. Like never again? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. So probably they're like tear this place apart and do something else. Damn. It wasn't even open for that long. Yeah. Here's a map. It's a beautiful park. Look at the water stream. Oh, so you go through yeah. here and then go all around these little shops where we are right now. Yeah, this place is amazing. So sad. Wait, it says here the first super large indoor amusement theme park in China? Yeah. No. Guys, can you see that? 
This is real history right here, just left forgotten. This is sick guys, I think this is the best abandoned mall with an indoor theme park in the world, hands down. Is that where it ends? Yo, that'd be such a cool photo to take right there. It's like you're the king or the queen. Oh, here's the ticket office. There's some Disney stickers on it. I wonder if we can see like the price, how much it would cost. Yeah, we can see the price, yeah. Yeah, yeah we totally can. Oh nice. no, we cannot. No? What is that, this? That, that's not it. That's like the height. And oh, the, the like, height restriction. Yeah. So this is for kids. This is really, really cool. You can tell by the algae that uh, they used to have running water going around the theme park. So they must have had like a, a water ride. Treasure Islet Pirate Kingdom Operation Room. Yeah, we, we can make this place active and turn on all the rides we get through there. No, we cannot. <laughs> Damn, this is so sick too. That looks like Poseidon. Oh my gosh. Amazing. <laughs> awesome. That looks sick. Yeah, I'm and I'm I'm gonna admit, even like when you look up to, that looks incredible. Hope it doesn't snap on me. <laughs> It's not gonna. Whee. You got a coin? <laughs> oh, I might have. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Apparently, this is a wishing fountain. Well, uh, there's no water in it, so I guess it doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah, that that that's like no luck right there. Yeah. Whoa. This is moving as well. Oh shit. Really? <laughs> I heard people yell. They weren't they weren't yelling at us, right? I feel like this is a waiting line. This is like rolling around. Oh, that's uh, the name of it? Yeah. Rolling around. Here's another entrance. This is the entrance for this ride. I wonder why there's so many like Disney stickers. Do they like make these rides as if it was like a, a Disney ride? I'm not sure. I'm checking out this one. I don't want to break anything. I feel like uh, even walking on these planks can break. Man, I love these rides. If this was active and powered on right now, I would go on this one. Huh. It's really dusty. You think this is the water ride? Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's like a pirate theme. Actually, everything here is pirate theme. Yo, you can, you can climb this. Get to your little hideout. There is actual stairs. I bet there is actual stairs. You, you don't want to take the shortcut? <laughs> Let's see how much dust there is on the ground. Oh, you know what? We gotta get to that tower instead. Screw this one. We gotta go to the lighthouse. Yeah. There's actually people working here too. I'm not sure what they still do in this mall. There's absolutely nothing here. No shops are open or anything. 
but they don't they don't care that we're here which is great here's the downstairs floor I guess this is where the ride begins Oof. it's really trashed up oh, this would have been a sick ride because this goes all around the park Yeah, that's the cool part about it. Yeah. Just found the price? Yeah, the small is like 120 yen. What, for this ride? No, for the whole ride. Oh, the whole theme park. Kind of theme park. Okay. For just this ride, it's like 50 yen per person. Uh huh. What about for the entire theme park? For the entire theme park, is like 180 yen. Which is that's pretty cheap. Yeah. That, that's pretty cheap in uh, American US dollars. Yeah. Like we paid $142 for a one-way taxi ride, which is I think like around 20 to 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for the entire entry to the theme park, you'd be paying almost the same price. And just for one ride, you pay 50 yuan. And that's probably like maybe 10 to 15 US dollars. Not bad. Oh, this one. Looks like another water ride. No, I think it's the same. Oh yeah, it's the same. It goes through this. Yeah, that is a cart. Yo. Those are the boats. So we just go all around the parking and we go up here. The elevator works. The elevator works. It's probably the only working thing here. Sea story surfing. Oh. That should be the roller coaster. Sure. No, no, it's not. It looks like one of those rides that just goes around in a circle. Yeah. Ooh, there's a huge dusty cobweb. Here's some of the equipment. It's still all intact. Wonder. Oh, I've been to one of these rides before, but it was never set up like this. I think it would like yeah. go like a pendulum, yeah. swing back and forth. Probably spin around too. I love it. I love how like there's so much sunlight in here. I wonder what happened to make this close down. Actually, I do know what happened. What? Uh, so apparently, like, there's two brand new malls uh -huh. in between this one. Uh -huh. And so that kind of didn't help out this mall. Mm -hmm. And more and more people began going to the, new, the newer and more modern ones. Oh. And they started shopping here less. <sighs> and that's what led this mall to be abandoned and this abandoned indoor theme park. Would you be a pirate? <laughs> nah. Nah? Wow, leads even further, guys. So they had two rides that would go all around this park. They had the water ride, and they had the roller coaster. Well, there's more at that park. Yeah, I know. But should we just take a look at these rides first? Yeah, let's make sure to like touch up on everything. Well, the water is moldy. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. We wouldn't want to be swimming on that. But this door, this door is the only door open for a ride. Okay. Ugh, too and fat. Open that way, we should just let it oh. Open it. <laughs> this is this is why she's with me, guys. Power land. This is cool, it's like a, a viking ship. Yeah. You got like mammoth horns on it. But we made it right next to this lighthouse. I wonder if we can get to the top. Just gotta find the entrance. No way. I'm starting to think to get to the lighthouse, we have to do a little bit of rock climbing. 
or teeth. Yeah, I think that's a real white house. Okay, just a big one. Yeah. I'll try and climb, but this is like <laughs> too much. Maybe we'll just like try to go from the back. Yeah. I just found a secret looking entrance. Oh, oh no, it's closed. Operation room. Oh man. Do they even have poison ivy in China? Uh, oh, lucky. Oh. No, there has to be a way. Whoa! This is a giant skull. Oh, that's sick. They don't call it the Indiana Jones theme park for nothing. That skull. Looks so dope. You you would never see anything like that besides here. Oh, good eye. Oh, at least to the stage. Uh, they probably put on like pirate shows. Yeah, there's stage lights on it. Let's go. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, looks like they're doing some welding. Alright, if I want a good shot, I'm gonna have to climb down here. I wanna get like a direct like line of sight with it. Yeah, but the water is like really dirty. Well I'll, maybe I don't have to step on the water. <laughs> just, just on that one, maybe? It's just on the rail. Hmm. I want to see how really dirty the water is. It's already bubbling because of all the gases in it. I think I found the way down. I'm gonna go through here. Yes, perfect. Alright, now I just found a good shot right there with Jane in the frame, but I think I need to get a little bit more closer up to the skull for a more in-depth shot of it. Alright, so we just got word from one of the workers. But they said that this mall is not abandoned, it's just closed down at the moment and that they're repairing it to be active again, but they don't know when that's gonna happen. I still consider it abandoned, I mean, looks like it's been abandoned for years with all the dust and the mold growing. <sighs> Ew. Nasty. I need to get the shot. I think you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Actually, now I kind of want a photo of myself in it. I'm glad these rails are sturdy. Because I would not want my feet to be touching that one bit. Damn, we can actually get even closer to the skull if I walk across here. Bubbling like crazy. This, now this looks a little bit more rusty. Wow, we just made it into the mouth of the skull. I think I got the photos I needed. It smells really, really bad here, guys. I'm not sure if it's even healthy for me to like breathe in this. It's like a gas smell. Hey, hey, get that guy like looking at you. Which guy? <laughs> On the third floor. Oh. So that guy above me is like looking at me. Oh, well, I blend in though. If I, if I was like a foreigner, like Caucasian, then they probably do something. I look Chinese. He's like, nah, my man's cool. So we pretty much checked out all the rides over here. There's still one part of the theme park. I wonder where this might lead, but it had a roller coaster ride going through it. That's crazy. 
also look like there must have been some water here too. So imagine just taking the roller coaster ride down this little cave. No, that's a pretty dope carousel though. Oh, it's double. <laughs> oh, a double carousel? You don't see that often. But like imagine the water though. It was like surrounded by a little moat. All right, this is hands down the coolest carousel I've ever seen. And if it was active, it must have been crazy to experience. And right over next to it are more kid rides. But I think it just leads to shops. But look at this guy. That giant clan is pretty cool. Yo, I love this carousel though. This is gonna be a great photo too. It says danger, please do not <laughs> climb. But well, well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah. Oh. Okay, nice. Someone has already broken, in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the wood. It's moving. <laughs> Dusty, huh? I think you should cover your mouth if you have a mask. Yeah. Oh, someone's taking the elevator. Man, this place must have been so cool back in this day. Just imagine all the kids here having fun, having such a good time. This probably would have been my favorite theme park if I was a kid growing up here. Then all of a sudden it had to be closed down, I'd be so sad. I wonder if there's any Chinese people watching my video right now. If you've actually been to this theme park as a kid, leave a comment down below. Which is your, uh, your favorite ride right here? Oh, that one. The pink seahorse? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. No. no. <sighs> Darn. There's another stair there, but like, I'm not sure if you want to go. Is there? But you can get a cool shot. No, you can't. Oh, this is a pretty. Uh, yeah. I think the cool shot would be like to take a photo, like from one of the floors, maybe the third floor, or to get on the elevator and do a shot. You're smart, yeah. Good thing it's just right there. I mean, I do feel like attempting to climb this, but I think that'd be a little bit too much. This looks the same as the first one down below us, so yeah. Here's a good look. I'm gonna try to take a photo now from one of the floors. Look, here's the control room that would operate the carousel. So look at that, guys. Cigarettes there. There's a note, it must have been left when this place was active. It says 1 p.m. This place will be open. Oh, we, we gotta get a photo there on those steps. It's like super colorful. They had a 4D cinema in here. Apparently that's what it was. But like 4D cinemas did become popular until like the last maybe four or five years. And I think this abandoned theme park was a lot older than that. So for them to have a 4D theater was kind of pretty far ahead of its time. Seems like people busted the door open. We're gonna go check out the 4D cinema. Yeah, it does look like there's some Walking Dead shit. Have you played the uh, The Last of Us? What's that? Oh man, it's so dusty in here. I'm heading out. Yeah. <coughs> There's some 3D glasses right there. But it's too dusty in here, guys. I'm heading out too. I'm gonna head out the other way. I can't fit through that. Whoa. Boom. It's an arcade. Um, bumper rides. Oh, this is so dusty. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I can't even talk right now, guys. Without the dust going to my mouth. Yo, these look like... Are these sheeps? These are the sleeping sheeps that you see in your dreams. Alright, we're gonna head out really quick. But there's some little tiny rides here. That I wanna show you guys. You say it again, Jane? It's the first cinema, 40 cinema in Qingdao. That's what it says right there. Wow. Crazy history right here, just left abandoned. But hopefully this place becomes active again. No, probably need to be a worker. Is this the other one? You have like two elevators. Hmm, yeah. So earlier today we saw someone take the elevator downstairs. So we're thinking like, oh, okay, we can take it too, but they don't seem to be working. We must have seen like a ghost. <laughs> different elevator because we were like right yeah. but there's only two of them and both of them don't work we should get to the main thing part there should be a like, yeah or super dusty so it makes it really really slippery right now I totally forgot how you even walk. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we got a lot of operating machines in here still. I don't think you guys can see that though. There's a ton of computers. Third floor. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be sick to see. Whoa. Damn. That is so cool. Wow. Jeez. From above, it looks huge. Guys, I hope this video blows up. Maybe they can like see this and kind of fix it up again. Bring exposure to the place. It's too cool. Look at all these empty shops. Well, I shouldn't be saying shops, there's like nothing in them. But these used to be stores. Wow guys, the ceiling right now looks crazy, especially now during the sunset. I just thought of this idea of getting a shot with chain right there by the railing to show off this huge banding part. Check out this photo. No one has ever gotten this shot before. All right, everyone, so we're saying goodbye to the rides over here. We're gonna go to the carousel because it's getting dark now and I wanna get a shot before it gets too dark. If you guys have been enjoying this video so far, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. And if you wish to support more content like this, definitely check out the Patreon page. The link will be down below. Whoa, this looks also crazy. I think this thing, this carousel must have been the most beautiful thing here. 
Imagine it being lit up. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by water. Yeah. And looking at it from this angle too. Guys, look at these paintings on the walls. We got Totoro, Kung Fu Panda. This is pretty sick. Whoa, yeah, this angle is sick. Damn. Yeah. All right, I think this is even better than the other one. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. If we go to the ground B1, we're not gonna, we we'll have to go to stairs as well. Right, at least like what, the parking garage? Yeah. Ow. That place was absolutely incredible and blew my mind. That was hands down the best abandoned mall slash abandoned theme park I've ever explored. It was just incredibly beautiful and the history of it was amazing. One being the first largest indoor theme park in China and two for having the very first 4D theater ever in China. So for it to be abandoned like that is very, very sad. I hope this video gives it the recognition that it deserves and Maybe one day, you know, if this video gets a lot of exposure, they can fix the place up and bring it back to life. But for the most part, if it gets destroyed, at least it was documented properly for you guys and everyone in the world to see. I'm going to end the video here now, though. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Leave your comments and thoughts down below and share the video. And most importantly, if you wish to support me and my channel, definitely head over to the Patreon page where you can earn perks and other behind the scenes stuff that no one else can see for just less than a cup of coffee. Stay tuned for more adventures. Keep up with the China series. There's gonna be so much more to come. And until next time, I will see you all next adventure. Peace.